Hello my beloved friends. So I welcome you in the love and the light of the one infinite creator. And in today's session, you know, uh, yesterday night I was entering into my sleep state and uh, I was contacted by the Galactic Federation uh, stating that they have a very important message to share to humanity. Okay, And it's regarding the 1010, uh, which is which is like approaching us really fast in a few days. It will be here. So, uh, you know, they tell us, you know, why uh, the significance of 10 October, 10th of October. Okay. And also uh, they talk about, you know, like uh, they tell us three things in this session. Uh, wait, okay. I have listed it out. Yeah. They talk about, you know, uh, they talk about, you know, how the negative entities, you know, they, uh, they have planned to do um, something on this date okay like they, they have planned you know this in essence this uh, date is i believe pretty huge for not only our planet but uh, you know for um, the negative entities they are trying to do something on this date okay as per the as per the bodies as per the previous session okay uh, they had stated that in the previous session they had they were able to capture some bodies of the uh, reptilians okay so they were scanning the mind and this is what they found out okay they will tell you in the session what they found out and also uh, uh, they, they they found out you know that they had uh, they had uh, like discovered uh, a plan that the negative entities are trying to do on the 10th of october because it's a huge window for timeline shifting they said okay uh, they describe about that in detail okay in the beginning parts of the video and then uh, later on you know they also uh, talk about how uh, we okay as individuals now uh, this is very very important now uh, you know like we as uh, light workers you know we as uh, you know people who are awakening now there are many people who are still asleep you know they uh, they don't they don't like you know they are not interested in stuff like this or maybe they don't uh, want to you know like uh, listen maybe because uh, they are not ready um, but we you know who are listening to the video okay we who are listening to the message you know we can make a difference and they give us a wonderful method okay we can use at this timeline on the 10th 10th uh, they have given us something to do okay now we as a collective if we do it it will be like you, you know they said you know uh, it will be like huge uh, instantly okay upgrades into the fourth density okay so i believe we need to do this as well and uh, I will try to, you know, uh, if possible, make a live event um, uh, li via YouTube on that day. So uh, before uh, the session begins, okay, at the end of the session, okay, um, I had queried about, you know, uh, how the Akashic records are actually, how the Akashic records record information. So they describe it in detail, okay, how our mind, body and spirit is uh, recorded like it's very fascinating okay they describe this in a scientific manner so i found this to be like really interesting so it will it is at the end of the video and before i uh, start playing the session i need to say big thank you to someone who sent this beautiful jacket from canada and uh, thank you so much um, and so here is the session my friends We are the Galactic Federation and we are now connected to this instrument via the grace and the love of the One Creator. We greet you today and as a matter of urgency we are now communicating through this instrument to deliver an important message for the human collective must understand what is happening outside the planetary sphere and what the so-called negative entities are planning to do on the earth planet as the earth planet is now entering into a gateway, rearm or a timeline starting on the 10th of October as known by your people in your time space measurement terms as 1010. 2021 is a gateway of timelines shifting which can allow Earth to either drastically enter into the beginning stages of the fourth density consciousness 
or to enter into the negative spiral by being influenced by fear and by the influence of the negative Orions, Reptilians and the Anunnaki collective who have also assembled massive numbers and have also created massive grey entities to increase the number of consciousness in order to influence the Earth's planetary trajectory towards the negative as this time is the most important for those entities who desire to understand the significance of 1010. They must understand that on this timeline, each entity, if it uses the aspect of entering into the field known as the quantum field or the time-space continuum field, therein each entity will begin to understand that there are in we correct this instrument. We recalibrate these instruments. There are infinite numbers of timelines on this level of the quantum field, and the limitless possibilities can occur without any time dilation or time difference, meaning that out of the various timelines of both the negative and the positive, those entities who collectively understand the process of using the quantum field can access the ability of entering and choosing the timeline for the whole planet. In essence, this can be accomplished by gathering like-minded entities in massive numbers who are of a similar vibration and whose objective is to accomplish this feat of choosing the timeline and based upon each entity's desire which will lead to a coupling of the desire and each entity will begin to influence the planetary level of consciousness and choose the timeline of either the positive or the negative. Let us tell you that on the 10th 10th of 2021, we have detected from the so-called recovered dead bodies of the grey entities and the reptilian entities previously collected by the Astar command during a recent infiltration of the Mars bases wherein the negative entities have launched themselves. We have retrieved the information pertaining from their memory bank recorded in the Akashic record of each of these crossed over entities regarding a plan that they had created for the purpose of collecting and creating as many consciousness active members to allow the whole planet of the earth to be manipulated to enter into a higher level of consciousness. However, they are of the opinion that they will try to enter the earth planet into a higher negative orientation. This is the plan of the negative entities as they want earth to enter into a negative fourth density spiraling. During this gateway, it is vitally important that entities on the earth planet, even those 1% entities who shall watch and get the message delivered through this instrument, can use the ability and assist us in preventing this timeline sifting into the negative and instead enter into a more positive timeline of the new earth. In essence, the timeline can be used in both ways for either entering into the positive spiral or into the negative spiral. This requires at least a collective consciousness of more than a threshold of consciousness of entities which amass the number of 5000 equivalent to that of the human collective consciousness individualized portions which are currently found on the earth planet hence the so-called reptilians they have gathered many entities of their own nature of negative polarity and by the process of genetically engineering the grey entities, they have transmitted consciousness, thereby creating new consciousness in the form of grey entities.
and their plan is to enter into the Earth's crust in the South Pole of the Earth planet on this date in order to trigger the so-called aspect of triggering and allowing the negative entities to enter into the South Pole at this time space would be a mistake for both us as the Federation as well as for the human collective. However, as per the plans retrieved from the mind complex of the Akashic records of these entities whose bodies have been retrieved, they have already entered into the South Pole because of the influence they have and because of assistance from the so-called elites of your planetary sphere, they have already created a type of base on the South Pole. And on the day of 10th of October, they are planning to perform a massive meditation, which may be considered as an activation of the entrance into the quantum field, wherein each entity becomes united with the infinite intelligence and they are able to choose the timeline together, thereby creating a planetary vortex of entry into a new timeline. Hence, in this regard, we would recommend those entities who desire to be of service to planet Earth at this time-space period to use the ability at this time-space to meditate on the day known as 10th of October in a united and timely manner in order to allow to enter each entity's vibrations into the quantum field of the unity of time-space, wherein each entity, those who contacts each entity's vibrations of a similar nature of positive timelines, can be attracted by such entities, and hence those entities who desire to assist may enter meditative state and access the higher levels of consciousness, not only attracting a fourth density entity vibration, but also a fourth density higher timeline faster on the planets of a positive nature. Furthermore, in order to assist this process, entities can use the aspect known as the meditation coupled with the previous walking imagination exercise as directed by us in the previous session, which will allow each entity to enter into a fourth density planetary sphere, which will allow each entity to then trigger the timeline of a positive fourth density as the desire to encounter in the coming days. This is a flap of timeline shifting, which will allow the greatest shift of the planet into the positive. Therefore, beloved, this is what the so-called negative entities have planned at this timeline. And furthermore, upon scanning this instrument's mind complex, we are of the opinion that this instrument requires the understanding of how the Akashic records record information. In this regard, let us give you a basic explanation in terms of the scientific principles as known by many of your entities on the Earth planet. The process is simple. For each of your mind, body and spirit complex, there are timelines, and each timeline has a certain memory which it attaches itself to, for the mind creates the thoughts and the body creates the emotions which are recorded in a timely, sequential manner for each sector of experience is segregated as per the various timelines and as per the various timelines each emotion each thought and also the each beingness aspect is recorded which allows the akashic records to record each event in a timely manner from the person's perspective or from the consciousness perspective each event is recorded thereby providing a accurate detail after the end of a cycle if such entities want to ponder upon their Akashic records, they will find not only the emotional aspect, but also the thoughts aspects as well as the beingness aspect, which can be retrieved at a later time space. This is how the Akashic records are working at this timeline. 
ends with the Galactic Federation leave you now. Bye. So my friends, uh, after watching the session, you know, I hope you uh, have gained some understanding about what the uh, Federation uh, has given us information about. You know, uh, the Federation, they have said, okay, uh, that uh, on the 10th of October, there is this timeline shifting period because uh, because I believe, you know, it's, uh, it's a period uh, wherein if, uh, you know, a collective consciousness, okay, if a collective consciousness can enter into the so-called quantum field they said quantum field okay uh, they said uh, time space now as far as i know okay let me give you a brief explanation now what i know is that there is space time uh, the space time is where we are okay um, there is space and then to travel from one point to another it takes time at our level okay and then there is time space okay Time space is where uh, you know many of the higher beings reside in, and I believe you know time space is the quantum field that they are seeing, wherein there is there is uh, there is no time lag. Okay, to to go from one point to the other, there is no time required. It just happens instantaneously, and there are infinite possibilities uh, in that field. So what they said in essence is that you know on the tenth, uh, upon scanning the bodies of the dead reptilians which they had collected from the uh, as far as we know from the previous sessions uh, from mars they found out that you know they had planned uh, to do this uh, type of i believe you know they, they are trying to use a collective consciousness to enter into the quantum field together and the more more people more more entities do this the more better right so they are also creating more new um, new gray entities okay by i believe they are uh, projecting consciousness onto these gray entities and they are creating them so that they can be used during the process and i found this really fascinating is that they said you know uh, that uh, on the south pole sorry on the south pole of our planet you know they, there are already uh, many reptilians and negative entities who have uh, relocated on our planet and this is all because of uh, you know the um, elites okay the the elites of our planet you know they 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 are allowing this okay because they um, as we know you know they are working some of them they are working uh, with these um, you know reptilians uh, and orions and stuff so you know uh, they said that on the south pole they there are already many beings right now okay of, of this reptilian um, uh, uh, orion anunnaki collective and what they are planning to do is to change timelines so they are trying to enter the quantum field and uh, they are trying to choose a negative timeline negative timeline okay so we can stop that in essence how we can stop that is by you know together in a together manner in a collective manner if we uh, if we you know do a meditation uh, wherein we are able to enter into the quantum field a quantum field i believe is what happens when we are able to you know empty our mind we are in a meditative state wherein uh, we don't have our identity of the i or I am this or I am that it it's pure consciousness right so on that level okay if there are many beings uh, who are together on that level okay it's like many human beings uh, if we if we do this together on the 10th 10th and then uh, we use the walking uh, walking visualization of the new earth so we need to first enter the meditative state then we need to walk and visualize we are in a new earth so by doing this we will if we do it uh, in a collective manner we will trigger a positive timeline to shift the shift will happen on our planet because the gateway of timeline shifting is on the 10th 10th and also uh, you know one more thing you know i need to say is they have stated you know that uh, we can uh, try to stop this okay we need at least uh, around 5000 people uh, to do the to do this exercise on that date and I believe, you know, um, if uh, if by chance, you know, uh, many people watch the video and uh, at least I think, you know, 5000, we can do that. Right. Um, you know, let's see what happens. I will try to uh, arrange a live uh, live event uh, via YouTube on that day uh, if Internet permits. And also uh, the other thing is they said, OK, that um, the Akashic records. OK, now this was really fascinating. I wanted to know this. Uh, they have stated you know how the akashic records actually work uh, they have given us 
a, I believe a scientific way in which the Akashic records are recording our 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 you know thoughts our emotions our thoughts created by our mind right our emotions created by our body okay like this is amazing right and then the other thing they said is beingness created by our soul so they uh, they said each timeline each timeline has three types of information being recorded our uh, our thoughts our emotions from our body and our beingness from our spirit so in this uh, you know triple uh, storage system along with timelines okay along with the timestamp is used to record our akashic record so we can later on access the information so you know it's pretty much accurate information i believe you know when we suppose uh, suppose someone wants to access their akashic records what they do is you know they can go at a certain timeline and they can uh, they will they will find not only their thoughts their emotions but also their beingness so in essence they find out everything okay like in entirety right so this was a really fascinating session and also uh, i want to say a big thank you to everyone for sending in emails for past live sessions i am uh, like slowly i will send you out and if you want to uh, know about your past incarnation your origins you can send me an email the link is on the description as well on the screen right now and also thank you all for joining patreon uh, joining my patreon because i can share uncensored content uh, because a lot of the content i cannot share on youtube anyways thank you all so much and uh, i'll try to meet with you all on sunday which is the 10th uh, so if possible let's do the meditation together so that way we will enter into a fourth density new earth faster okay so thank you guys